Hello friends, in this video we will learn how to get regulated power supply from half wave and full wave rectifier with constant output of plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt, 24 volts, plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt and 10 volt with help of regulators namely 7812, 7912, 7805 and 7905. So let's get started. Let's open Proteus ISIS, go to the Proteus part list and in keywords type transformers and select the simple transformer which has two inputs and two outputs and place it on the sketch board. Again go to the part list and type V sign and select the component. So this is a AC power source. It will supply AC power in form of sine wave. Let's edit its properties. Set its DC offset to 0. Amplitude we can set from 20 to 25. And frequency to 5 Hz. And later on we will increase this value. Now let's select AC voltmeter from instruments. And connect its terminal to the output of transformer. Now let's play the simulation. Here you can see that we are receiving 14 volt output on the secondary coil which is sufficient. So let's select another component which is diode. We need to select generic diode. And I am placing two of them. I have rotated the second diode with help of plus sign on keyboard. Now let's connect P junction of D1 and N junction of D2 to the same terminal of secondary coil and the other terminal of secondary coil must be grounded. Now let's play the simulation and it's ok. To see the output waveform, let's attach oscilloscope by selecting it from instruments, connect the A terminal to N junction of D1, B terminal to P junction of D2, C terminal to first terminal of secondary coil and D terminal to the grounded terminal of secondary coil. Now let's play the simulation. The bottom green line represents the ground terminal D, the red line represents the input from secondary coil. The yellow line represents output from the diode D1 and blue line represents the output from diode D2. By increasing the time, we can see the generated sine wave form. The dotted line represents the DC offset according to the curve, according to the wave. Since we are sure about the output, so let's delete oscilloscope and place the remaining components. So let's go to part list and type 7905. Here 79 represents the family of negative voltage regulator and 05 stands for 5 volt. But let's take 7912 to, uh, to get a regulated power supply of negative 12 volt. So place it on the sketch board, rotate it according to the convenience. Now again let's go to part list and in keywords type 7812. The 78 represents family of positive voltage regulator. So by this we will get a regulated supply of plus 12 volt. Now let's connect their ground terminals to the grounded terminal of secondary coil. VI represents input terminal and VO represents the output terminal. So connect VI of 7812 voltage regulator with N junction of D1 and VI of 7912 voltage regulator to P junction of D2. Now we need some capacitors to get DC filtered output. Select the animated capacitors to clearly see the deposition of positive and negative charges on the plate. We need two capacitors. So okay now let's connect one terminal of the capacitors to the VO of both the power voltage regulators and ground the remaining terminal of capacitors. Next let's insert some voltage probes to see the output voltage. 
now let's play the simulation and we can see that we are getting power supply approximately equal to plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt respectively now let's see what happens if we change the amplitude of the input AC source to 24 volts it is still showing the power supply of plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt respectively now let's extend the circuit to get regulated power supply of plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt so let's go to proteus part list and type 7805 select the component and place it near to the corresponding 7812 voltage regulator to receive the desired output of positive 5 volt now again go to part list and type 7905 sorry 7905 select the component and place it adjacent to the 7912 voltage regulator to get the power supply of negative 5 volt connect the v input of 7905 to v output of 7912 connect the ground terminal and perform the similar connections on 7805 Again we need two capacitors, for each capacitor one terminal should be grounded and other should be connected to V output of 5 volt voltage regulators. Ok now to see the results let's connect two DC voltmeters from instruments, place them on the sketch board and firstly i am connecting the negative terminal of first voltmeter to positive terminal of second voltmeter and negative to v output this will show the wrong results because the negative terminal should be grounded so as you can see uh, both the voltmeters are showing plus 5 volts so let's correct the connections and ground the negative terminal of second voltmeter also and connect the positive terminal of second voltmeter to V output and play the simulation now we are getting the correct results in positive cycle the diode D1 is forward biased and D2 is reverse biased and vice versa in negative cycle now let's increase the secondary inductance of the transformer and again play the simulation but there is no effect on output it is still showing positive 5 volt and negative 5 volt from 7, 8 and 7, 9 family respectively now this completes our circuit of half wave regulated power supply of plus minus 12 and plus minus 5 volt to make full wave regulated power supply circuit again go to proteus part list and type transformer but this time we need to select transformer with center tapped click ok and place this transformer on the sketch board now let's connect v sign component this circuit is very similar to the previous circuit the previous circuit had frequency of 5 hertz now let's increase it to 50 hertz and play the simulation so it is giving the correct results which is regulated supply of 12 volt and 5 volt so let's edit the weave sign properties set dc offset to 0 amplitude to 25 and frequency to 50 hertz okay now let's connect diode connect the secondary coil to P junction of one diode and the N junction of other diode and now we need a ground terminal which is to be connected to the center tab ok this is fine now again we need the 7812 firstly let's connect 7812 voltage regulator and connect V input to the N junction of D3 and let's take now 7912 voltage regulator connect their ground terminals and now let's connect the V input of 7912 to the P junction of D4 ok this is 50 
now let's change the secondary inductance and set it to 2 henry the v output of the regulators is to be connected to capacitors so again take two capacitors and connect one terminal of each capacitor to ground and the other terminal to v output of voltage regulators and they should be connected to ground now let's attach voltage probes to see the resultant voltage now play the simulation and yes the circuit is correct it is showing plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt as expected now let's convert it into 5 volt regulated supply so connect 7805 voltage regulator and 7905 voltage regulator okay let's connect the ground terminals first and connect V input of 7905 to V output of 7912 adjust the wires okay and connect the ground terminals and connect the V input of 7805 to V output of 7812 and again we need two capacitors which are to be connected to output terminals of 5 volt voltage regulators Again we need to ground the one terminal of each capacitor and the other terminal of capacitor should be connected to V output of 5 volt voltage regulators. Okay. Now this is the last step in which we will attach DC voltmeters to see the results. Connect the negative terminal of both voltmeters to ground and positive to the V output. Now drag the wire so that connections are clearly visible. Okay, the circuit is also ready. Now let's play the simulation. So yes, we have got the desired values of plus 5 volt, minus 5 volt, plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt. Now let's see how we can get the regulated power supply of 10 volt and 24 volt. So stop the simulation and attach a DC voltmeter to V output of 7805 and 7905 and play the simulation. So we can see we are getting 10 volt regulated power supply. Now to get 24 volt power supply, connect another voltmeter to V output of 7812 and 7912. Again play the simulation and notice we are receiving 24 volt regulated power supply and same thing can be done on the previous circuit. Okay, this circuit gives us 4 different regulated power supply which are plus 5 volt, minus 5 volt, plus 12 volt, minus 12 volt, 10 volt and 24 volts. This circuit can be used in various applications according to your need. Such as if you are making a line follower robot then microcontroller will require a constant voltage of 5 volt, relays will need 12 volt, comparators will need plus minus 5 volts and motors will need from 12 volt to 24 volt regulated power supply. So that's it friends, do watch our previous videos on regulated power supply as well as other electronic projects. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. For more informative videos like this, please like, share and subscribe our channel and also share your valuable suggestions and queries in comments below. Thanks for watching. Bye.